Hello, welcome back guys. Uh, we are gonna do um, solve an auto problem, auto cycle. Uh, we're gonna have a little change. The ideal cycle that we described use isentropic uh, processes for compression and expansion. In this cycle, what we're gonna replace is the isentropic or polytropic process. Okay? Uh, N of 1.3. Okay. Recall that in um, isentropic process, when we do the analysis, we see that this will be zero for isentropic process. This will be different from zero for a polytropic process. Now, a polytropic process is defined to be one of path follows this rule can be used also with specific value. So in when we are doing our compression or our expansion, we are gonna have some heat. Notice that we are asked the heat transfer period mass in the cycle. So our queuing will not be only the process of combustion, but also the heat that we are adding either in the compression or in the expansion uh, process. Okay, um, so just to recall, this work in and work out, usually what we do is we have, or a delta U only because this is zero. But now we, we can uh, recall that uh, work, is the integral from the initial state to final state of PDV, and we need to find a P as a function of V. If we substitute by integrating, we have, and since we know that we can substitute further, keep in mind that state two is the final state. T1 is the initial state for the polytropic process. So from here we can get our working to be, if we remember that our process looks like this, so working is just in the compression process. Work out will be R because it's in my expansion process. Um, from the data, we know that T1 is 300 Kelvin, so we know it. And we know the maximum temperature of the cycle is T3. If we draw this on a TS diagram, we recognize that T3 is the maximum temperature, so that means so we also know T3. Now we need to find out T4 and uh, T2. For that we can use our isentropic relation. But A, we don't have post isentropic relation anymore, we have polytropic relation. So we are gonna modify it this way. Uh, our isentropic relation will be modified to So using this expression, we can recognize that T2 will be T1 over V1 over V2 is R. Doing a similar analysis, we can get because V3 over V2, V3 over V4 is 1 over R. So we can get T2 and T4 as well. With these two works out, we can get our network. And we need this network in order to find our efficiency that we call is our highest level. So now we need to find queuing. And queuing will be two parts. Queuing will be the queue we have in process two to three 
the combustion process. But we need to recognize that we have some heat transfer in the polytropic process. So we need to find out which one is the one that we need to take into account. So this is the, the, the what follows is the difficult part. It's not difficult, but it's tricky. So in order to make it a little bit more clear, we're gonna compute our different values so far. Okay, so uh, let's do it. State one, we know P1 is 100 kilopascal and T1 is 300 Kelvin. From here we can get V1 to be Uh, this is kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin times Kelvin times kilonewton per square meter. If we're going to ask kilojoules as kilonewton per meter times meter, we know that the units will be cubic meters per kilogram. This gives us... Now, in order to get to state 2, we know that T2 is 100. R, which we know is 9, this gives us 0.45 Kelvin. Now we know T3 and that before So if we substitute into our work, we can get that work in. Kilojoules per kilogram. Now, notice, since we are in, in our nomenclature, everything that goes in is positive, everything that goes out is negative. So work in is have a positive sign. Now work out now this is negative. It's negative because it's going out. Now keep in mind that these are the positive and negative signs. Okay. We're given the signs that everything that goes in is positive. Everything that's going out negative. So in the next analysis, we're going to have the absolute value. So now let's analyze process. And I don't know the direction of the heat transfer. So we know Q in. U2 minus U1. Um, which is the same as, okay. So uh, we, don't, we know that we have work in, we don't have work out. We don't know the, the, the direction. We are gonna assume, let's assume that we have Q in. So that means that for this process, we're gonna assume Q out zero. Now, Q in, in the polytropic process, will be this Q in is minus sixty six point eight kilojoules per kilogram. That means that we assume wrongly the the direction. So in process two to three what we actually have is one to two, sorry, is 66.8 up. Now let's do analysis of process three to four is expansion. And we start again from our first law analysis.
Okay, we know that we have workout. And since in the compression we have Q out, we can assume that in the expansion we're going to have Q in. And there's a reason for that. When we expand, we cool down the gas inside the system, so more likely that heat will go in. So Q in. This is CV, T4 minus T1 plus workout. Substituting, we are going to have plus. Now, you mentioned that this workout, we have a negative sign because it's going in, it's, it's going out. But um, we already have the sign. So we're going to use it absolute number here that means that our Q in to 26.4 kilojoules per kilogram it's positive so we assume the value correctly now we need to compute the total Q in is equal to the heat going in in the expansion process as well as the combustion process. This Q in will be in 226 to the two hundred forty four. So this Q in is the Q in that we are going to use in our um, efficiency. Now we need to compute our network so our network is the total work workout minus working the workout that we have so network 653 kilojoules per kilogram if so we can compute our efficiency Uh, we can also, we already find out the network. We already find out green. And the only thing that we're missing is the mean effective pressure. We said that for the mean effective pressure, we need the network by V1 minus V2. We already have V1. But we don't have V2. But we remember that V1 over V2 is equal to R, so V2 is equal to V1 over R. So mean effective pressure can also be computed as V1, 1 minus 1 over R, just factorizing. This will give us 853.22 kilopascal. So with this, we finish our analysis. That is that uh, two differences are that we make this change to isentropic polytropic. And the second thing is that in the compression process and the expansion process, we cannot assume the heat transfer is zero. So we need to compute it, and then we need to add it in order to have the total heat transfer that the gas is receiving. Um, uh, reviewing this should be a six, but you can uh, change that and adjust your calculation. Okay, guys, thank you very much.